It was kind of shocking. I remember sort of gasping, oh my God, he's so big. He's a you know, huge, huge dog, but yeah. just so cute, so, so sweet. sweet. He was found out and abandoned in a field. And they didn't know what kind of an animal he was at first. The purposeful rescue people had never seen anything like this before. You know his life was one of complete isolation. It looked like he'd come to live in an enclosure because he tends to want to live in a little six by six square foot. He could have been on a farm or something. I don't think he ever lived in a home. <laughs> I'm going through her Instagram feed and all of a sudden I saw this giant dog and I said, Jane, we have to get this dog. We have this thing about us where we love a project. We have the commitment and the passion to help these animals. And here was a big project. Arbuckle's waiting right there. And I wasn't like, I didn't expect that I would fall in love with him. I knew I would, but I didn't know what a kind and gentle spirit he was. And conditionally loving him. It was so much weight on his joints. Every time I'd watch him, I just felt like his legs had so much pressure on them. You could almost see him thinking, worth it for me to get up. The first thing that was kind of heartbreaking is that he would not come in the house and join us. It was like it was too foreign to him. We tried to get him to come inside and he just didn't get it. Here we come, way in time. 108, 105 and a half. 99. Yay! Yay. Good job, bud! Yay. Gradual oh, sudden. Yeah. Like all of a sudden he was chasing the dogs around the house looking so part of the pack. Arbuckle, what you doing on the bed? <laughs> you wanna get up on the couch? We took him to a park the first time and he stood just taking it all in. I'm sure he's never done anything like that in his life from before. So that was pretty magical to see it in his face, how really happy he is, and letting the wind blow through his hair in the car. There ain't nobody that I know can claim he always acts freely. He's down to 94 pounds now. He started out at 116, and he's been on hypothyroid medicine. He doesn't look like a strange creature anymore. And I think that's the most exciting thing, is knowing he's sort of trapped in there, and he's being set free. Can we stop? It's got to feel good for him. You'll see him discovering, oh, I can do this. I can run. I can go up the stairs. He has these instincts that now he can actually follow through on. Can we change? Can we try to do something useful in the end? This guy, when he is happy, he literally has nipples. He actually has a smile. You know, I don't know if dogs can have gratitude, but it's almost like he's going, thank you. Thank you. At least that's what we think. We project. We totally project that on you. You're welcome. <laughs>